Mr. Check Pig. out Mr. Pig here. What's the matter, big boy? So something been gone from the Hi, show. Baby. I feel like he's got. I figure he's gotten double the size. He really loves the wife because she talks to him like he's a little. He's a good boy. Yeah, like that. He's a good boy. <laughs> but yes, he is. Oh, you gonna cry? He gets that little squeal. I mean, he's as happy as can be. So, All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Alrighty. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we made it back from the Acme show. Yes, sir. Made it back the other night. Uh, Monday night, that is. And uh, in the evening. So it was a pretty good trip coming home, going down. Not so good traffic was, let's just say it was bad. Uh, other than that, great trip. Loved it. Uh, the show was awesome, and I tell you what, that Southern Hospitality, man, you can't beat it. You guys are awesome down there, I'll tell you. So, uh, going to the show, uh, thank you everybody that come up to me, said hi, uh, you know, talk, chit-chat. I mean, that was great. Very humbling uh, when you guys come up, and I love it. So, uh, meeting all my YouTube friends down there, uh, all the guys that we, we all watch and love, and just great, great, great stuff. And I tell you what, there's some amazing builds on the table. Um, I mean, just unbelievable. I mean, some of the cars down there are just, just beautiful. I mean, beautiful. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I thought I'd kind of do a quick rundown. Uh, if you guys ever want to go to the Acme show, because the Acme show to me is that, like the, the cream of the crop show. You know, it's like the, it's the one to go to. You know, but oh, it's going to Acme. It's like, that just seems like how it is. And... I've always been wanting to go. I've heard about it for a long time, so I've been I've been blessed to go the last two years, and it's been worth it every time. So, and I'm very, very looking forward to next year uh, as well. So, uh, next year's themes I believe is uh, like drag car and hundred years of Mopar. So that'll be a good show. Uh, on top of it, uh, your best option if you are to go down. Uh, do a pre-register. Uh, do it online because you are entered into a giveaway for an airbrush for a Grax airbrush to do three of them. Uh, so you have to be pre-registered uh, before you get to the show uh, to get entered in that, which I've missed that because of the things going on with my brother uh, with his um, passing away and everything. So yeah, so I just didn't get to that. But fortunately, I was able to get on and do a pre-register the night before. So here's the other deal. This is where this show is the coolest show there is. Uh, they have a hospitality night, uh, Friday night before the show, uh, that starts at five. And what that does is if you're pre-registered, you can just go down to the hotel side, which is adjacent to the conference room and everybody's just down there hanging out, enjoying each other, um, having a good time. I mean, just good fellowshipping and just, it's awesome. So very cool. Uh, B and I wasn't, um, like pre-registered, so I was able to do that that night, Friday night, I could was able to get my early bird, and that allows me to go into 8 o'clock in the morning versus 10 o'clock. So I took 16 models down, and with 16 models, that takes a little bit of time to get them out of the case and make sure they're clean, put them on the table, you know, locate the table where they go, all this kind of stuff. And they had plenty of guys walking around down there uh, to help out if you didn't know what, you know, what model, what where, there's lots of guys to help you. Uh, so very friendly, very welcoming, and a uh, great, great, great show. Uh, so other than that, like I say, you can do that versus the 10 o'clock. So for me, I brought 16 kits. So that would have been, if I would have been there at 10 o'clock, it would have took me probably an hour to register. Now it's 11 o'clock, and it would have took me another hour to put them on the table. And by this time, the table's already packed. So now we're 12 o'clock, and the show gets over at 4. So I would have missed half the show just by waiting and putting my cars on the table. So early bird way to go so well worth it guys well worth it so you do the early bird you get a couple cool things so let me show you here uh first off they will give you this cool bag uh carrying bag you can carry around the show and it has the model car magazine on the back very cool it's got a few goodies inside it has your wristband that shows that you got you paid your money you've gotten into the show and also gives you this cool lanyard uh, to make you look like you're very special and you can walk right in with this around your neck swinging in the wind so other than that uh scale model decals uh they give you sts they give you some cool georgia license plates uh for the show 
Very nice of them to do that. And on the back you have decals. The front ones are not decal, they're basically just a cotton glue like a, a thick plate would be. Uh, so very nice, very cool. Uh, we got uh, different stuff in there. And like I say, they're all three of them are Georgia plates. So very cool. So STS, thank you for that. That's very awesome of you. Now you get a ticket for one of the drawings and a couple other little goodies in there. So it's very cool. Yeah, but like I said, the hospitality thing in the beginning, uh, very, very nice. And even after the show, a lot of guys still go back and hang out. So I don't have any other shows I know that does that, where they give you like the hospitality before and after the show. Um, once again, very cool. Very cool. Uh, so once you do your early bird also, uh, you get these that you put underneath your car. And while you're standing in line waiting to get your early bird, if you don't do it online like I didn't, uh, they will actually type this up for you and it's all good to go. As you can see, that's all typed in and very cool. So that's the way to do it. Now on the bottom here, you can put a little description of what your car has done to it. And I have to tell you, I can't remember half the stuff I put on those cars. I almost have to look back on some of my videos, on my build videos, uh, to show what I put on there. So, yeah. So speaking of that and what running into guys, I ran into Edgar at the end of the show and I thought, oh man, I thought, how you, you know, it was just one of those, I didn't see you all day. And I was like, were you here all day? He's like, yeah, we're here all day. You know, and I was like, no kidding. Uh, so Edgar has uh, One Team Garage is his channel. And the cool thing uh, about Edgar, you got to go check out his channel. Uh, he's got a really cool channel. And he sells these books. He actually had them published. And these books are build guide books. So they're basically a fill in the blank. It, it's basically... When you're building your car, you can fill in this book, almost like a log book. And it will put on there like, you know, manufacture, color, paint. What did you do to paint it with what? Thinner, you know, it gives you everything to, that you can write in, fill in the blank, so to speak. Uh, so it's a nice reference to go back. And that, tell you what, having that book would have been awesome for something like this. I could have went back, referenced it. That would have been great. So you guys need to go check that out. The book's not that expensive. All, and I think you can get it on Amazon and everything. Um, but I have not got mine yet. I, I got to get one. I was actually going to ask him if he had some with him, but I, I was just excited to meet him. So I, did, I didn't ask, but yeah, so go to his, uh, YouTube channel and check that out. And he's got the link for those books. Uh, highly recommend one guys. Highly do. Uh, other than that, I got some shop cards. I remember my shop cards this time. I brought some of my four decals down. Um, all that fun stuff and I did some shop card exchanging or you guys that come up to me and and said hey you watch a channel um, you know I give a couple of you guys shop cards so that was like I say very humbling that you guys come up and did that uh, that was awesome so like I said I exchanged a few shop cards so I'll show you some of the cards I got from the guys um, that we kind of walk back and forth with so the first one here is Mr. Rick Zink Rick Zink I mean we all love Rick Great guy, and Rick hands out his skeleton, so I grabbed another skeleton from him. I thought, awesome, I got one hanging on the wall, so we're going to hang this guy right next to him. So very cool. I might have to get a thing and put around his neck that says 2024 Acme. I think that'd be kind of cool. So Rick, thank you for the card. Um, also, I got uh, one from, let's see here, I got a little, a little pile of them here. We'll get them put together here. Uh, next one is uh, Mike from uh, Scale Model Outlaw. So, Mike, thank you for your card as well. Uh, we also swapped cards, so very cool. And Mike is big into the scale finishes, so if you're looking for scale finishes, he does have a coupon code if, when you order off his uh, channel, so check that out. Throw a little throw out there for you, Mike. Uh, another one we've got here. This is a cool card. I got this from Ted. Uh, Ted's Cars and Guitars. Check that card out. That is super cool. I love it. That is awesome. Uh, Ted's a pretty good guy. Uh, so, yeah. So, we swap cards on that. I'm sorry. I'm going through these kind of quick because i got kind of a few things I want to go over. And I don't want to make the video overly too long like normal. So, um, okay. So, this truck here, or the card I should, Extremist Models. Uh, this is uh, Josh's channel. And Josh had this truck on the table. And I tell you what, looking at this card versus the truck, I mean, the truck looked fantastic and i mean josh did an awesome job on this amazing so josh does a lot of scratch building as you can see on this um very nice very nice work so 
uh, guys go check that out as well and I will put links in the description below for everybody's channel here just to throw that out there uh, another cool uh, guy I got talked to was uh, Tim from Kim's Customs so Tim that was awesome to meet you again I met you last year and uh, yeah so good stuff there and I give Tim one of my cards as well uh, so go check him out and our favorite uh, everybody knows old Tom Rambler 69 so I got a new card from Tom this is a new card he just come up with uh, so I I you know it's funny I, I went over I give him one of my four decals and I didn't have in, any cards left I thought oh so I told Tom as soon as I get home I'm gonna mail you one so there's one in the mail Tom send it out so it should be coming your way sometime soon in a mailbox near you uh, so um, I got a bunch of stickers from Mr. Tim at Throttle Power, Tim Brown. So thank you, Tim, for that. Awesome. Um, always love the stickers. Awesome. So Tim, very cool hanging out with you, as always. Um, good guy to talk to. Um, just awesome. Uh, another guy hanging around with, uh, another great guy to talk to and hang out with is BG. BG Model Works. So BG, thank you for the sticker. And he also gave me some of the stickers for the Scale Model Podcast. So if you guys have not listened to these guys with Lucas C, um, I highly recommend it. They, they, they have the channel with the modeling guys. Uh, I watch that all the time, and I think it's awesome. They keep it entertaining. Very good info if you can use it or not. It's one of those things. Uh, but other than that, uh, picked up a few things here and there. So I thought I'd show you some stash ads I got uh, just real quick. I was kind of debating on what to do with the show because I'm kind of behind the ball on it, uh, you know, because time we made it home and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't have time to put a video up, and I know there's already show coverage out there, um, but I will do one here in a bit. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're working on it slowly. We're, we're picking away at it. Uh, but first I thought I'd show you a couple things we picked up the show. I didn't get a lot because we didn't have um, a lot of room, per se. We always take our dogs, so we stay in Airbnbs. And I tell you... And you guys got to check them out because sometimes they're cheaper than hotels. So I showed a little bit of clips here at the end of the video of some of the things we went to. Some of the places we stayed on the way down. Uh, the one we stayed during the show, we always pay for that one in advance because it's more the more expensive one. We always get a nice one for that. And then we stayed in a really, really cool one on the way back in Kentucky. Uh, that one was cool. So we did the first night that we did the hard drive down. We was almost probably a little over an hour plus from the show from that point yeah it's like I say traffic was horrible and just uh, so it was just one of those things um didn't want to go that route so we ended up staying so other than that i was fortunate and and i would i thought it was so cool you guys um i got blessed with two model kits so i thought that was really cool was not expecting that at all and uh the first kit uh, I got this was I was doing pre-register. This is from Paul, and he gave me this. He comes up to me, hands me the kit. Oh, man, I really appreciate that. So the AMT 69 Plymouth GTX convertible. This is a cool kit. It's open, but everything's still in a bag, so I don't care. That's awesome. Uh, that is a very cool kit, and thank you so much for that. That is awesome. I told him I'm gonna mention. It. He said oh, you don't have to. I'm like no, that's come on. That's that's cool. Uh, awesome that. Uh, another one, um, this one is um, from, uh, let's see, this is uh, Bob Patterson. Uh, we were talking, and he says, I know you got the Super Stone trucks, and you've been looking for the little carrier. And they had a few of these here, and he found this one here, and he came over and gave it to me during the show. I thought, that is so awesome. Um, yeah, so, um Bob, that was really cool of you to do that. Uh, very unexpected, let's put it that way. And Bob is also a member of the MSN Mid Midwest Scale Modelers. So I asked him, hey, is there a way I can get one of your decals? So <laughs> he took one off his models that was on the table and handed one to me. So uh, that was very cool. So I hope to see you in Detroit uh, in a couple of weeks. That would be awesome to catch back up with you on that. So a kit I did pick up, and I've been wanting this for a while. And I am not in the JR kit club. Uh, maybe I need to get into it. But uh, I've been wanting this one since I see they come out with it. Uh, this would be the Wood Brothers Racing um, Burton Mustang 
2021 motorcraft car yeah this looks like a really cool build um i need to check it out and see what it's all about but uh i think this would be a pretty nice builder and i'm looking forward to get on this so i think that'd be really cool uh another item i picked up and i have no idea what happened to it something happened it got lost it got i don't know where it went it was i picked up some splash paint uh, i was talking to the gentleman i was selling it and unbelievable we cleaned the truck i looked everywhere i can't find it nowhere and i thought oh jesus you sure you didn't leave it at the show i know i didn't so i don't know if it fell out of my bag if it's in the parking lot at the airbnb when i was reloading everything i don't know uh, i hope whoever finds it they enjoy it um put it to use so unfortunately i do not have my paint that i bought um yeah so it's it she gone she gone so i had a thing of primer uh some clear uh, some hardener and a bottle of like the wine um burgundy wine color so i was really looking forward to try that out but i guess i'll have to get online to order some so yeah so we actually lost an item uh, that was kind of disappointing i was a little frustrated the wife's like you gonna be this way are you gonna act like this all the way home i thought well for a few miles i am yeah so let it be let it be so another thing we got um uh, gifted to us uh this was from uh mark uh some cool mirrors so check these out i'm gonna obviously gonna you give me two of these uh these will work great to put on turntables so very cool they got little rubber um cleats on them in between them so both sides have that so very cool and they're actual real mirrors so that's really neat to put on a turntable because i have a couple models i'd love to put on turntables i have some mirrors but they just you know they're the plastic ones that come with the turntable they just don't look that great so thank you for those those are awesome i appreciate that uh last thing i picked up at the show uh this was from sts i got some decals for the old smoke in the bandit truck yeah, so this is the complete set. So this come with the decal for the trailer and the truck. So I was looking at my stash and I thought, man, do I have that set up here? No, I don't. And uh, I thought, well, the Coca-Cola trailers, because this says in here that they used it for the 40-foot AMT trailer, which I know if it's true scale, uh, the Bandit trailer is actually longer than that. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a 48 or 53 or something like that but it's okay we'll still use the 40 uh, make it work because obviously that's what the decals are for and i need one that's an actual reefer trailer so i have the rat fink trailer um i have the uh i have two coca-cola trailers and they are uh the model fb which would work for the truck so we we're out and about and pick this guy up so we got the watkins yeah with the old thermal king on the front so i know the show one has a kind of rounded edges but i don't know if i'll run with that um i might just keep it like that but uh this will work this will do the job and that's the actual truck that you're supposed to use with that so uh in regards to that um we also picked up because i didn't see that so this truck here this is the w925 kenworth so same truck basically just kind of different packaging and so we picked that so now we can get a smoking bandit trailer made and i also have please hold i've had the bandit trans am sitting in my stash for a while so now i had the trio um i would love to get started on this so i got a couple mustangs to finish and then we are on it so hopefully by march uh detroit show uh, i can have those done that would be kind of cool so i'm going to be starting that here in a bit on uh, seeing and it's been a while since i've done a big rig and I used to build them all the time, and I thought, ah, I gotta get on it. So, um, before I wrap this up, and I'll show you some of our videos from going down, some of the Airbnbs we stayed in. All right, guys, so on top of that, my highlight of the show, I'm talking my highlight of the show, and this was awesome, and I was so honored that uh, he asked. Uh, everybody knows uh, Fred Henry, uh, know my, everybody knows him as Pappy, and he asked me to do um, 10 questions with a modeler. So we did the round table and he does this every year after the show. So he asked me Friday night and I said, absolutely, I'd be honored to do that. So hang out with all the, all the YouTube greats out there. So this is a, a YouTubers thing. And I thought that was totally awesome. Like I said, that was worth the admission all day long for this. 
Uh, so you guys need to go check out Fred's channel. If you guys have not subscribed to Fred's channel, go down, subscribe to him, check him out. Um, he's got an awesome channel, and this guy can do some fantastic builds. So uh, he had his 55 forward there, and oh my gosh, that thing just beautiful looking. The paint job on that's just amazing. So like I say, in the video, uh, we went around and did our questions. Um, it was pretty funny. I mean, we had a good time. So it's a little longer video, but trust me, watch, watch it to the end. There's kind of a surprise towards the end of it. And you'll be like, what the? <laughs> so it's worth watching. So go check that out. Go to Fred's channel, check it out. And, uh, it's got friend Josh on the thumbnail. Uh, look for that and, uh, trust me, you'll like it. So other than that, guys, uh, that was my trip and I'll be putting some more videos up of some of the show coverage. Uh, like I said, I know there's a lot out there already, but uh, I will throw my two cents on on it. So that's what we picked up. Some of the shop cards, like say, thank you guys for all coming out and talking, hanging out, uh, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so also uh, another guy I, I talked to, so I'm going to be throwing this flyer up. Uh, you've seen it at the beginning. Uh, there's a model show coming up in uh, Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, this is on March 8th of 2025. So I'll have the flyer up there. So the gentleman's name was Dennis uh, Smith. So we sat with Dennis and his wife at dinner and great couple. I mean, my gosh, great couple. Uh, so we told him, says, we are going to definitely try to hit this show up because uh, it's a car show, uh, kind of like a flea market and a huge model show all at one. It's like the whole weekend long. So uh, that looks really cool. So we already got an Airbnb booked for it. Uh, so we're going to try to check that out next year uh, and go up there. So very cool. So I'll put that. You you guys seen the flyer in the beginning and we'll run with it from there. So other than that, guys, uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching and we will see you the next time around. I'm going to show you some videos of our trip and uh, on the way home. So we'll see you guys. Uh, we made it out to Georgia and uh, just got uh, out of our Airbnb. I'll switch it around here for you. So this guy meets me at the door. Hey, buddy. So we're staying here. This little tiny house. This is our first destination. So we got in last night about late because traffic and the construction and accidents and everything else put us about two hours behind. So that was good. So now we are on our way to Cartersville. So we will see you guys there. I'm going to take a little look inside the house here quick. You're a pretty good old boy, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah. Place has a little dog walk outside for your dogs because we have our two. I don't know if you can see her looking in the glass. Yeah, so a nice little dog walk goes all the way around. Pretty slick. Little gate to get in. Perfect. Got a nice little patio sitting area. Got a little place for some firewood. Got our cool fancy lighting up top here. Got my Barker barks in the window. He's cool as can be. The doodle, she's like, I gotta bark at everybody. Yeah, he's he's my he's my uh, cool guy there. He don't bark at nobody. You got a nice little fence in there for your dogs. Pretty nice little area. And this was actually cheaper than renting a hotel for the night. So it worked pretty good. All right, guys. So this is our little tiny house Airbnb. So they got a bed up there. Little TV. Got a really narrow little staircase. Uh, it's pretty cool. Got a little bathroom in there. That's your water heater on the wall there. So it's one of those instant heat, heat, heat heaters. So a pretty cool little place. Little kitchen here. Pretty nice. So it works pretty good. And it's you've got little storage units. All the steps. Every step has a storage unit. Pretty cool. So yeah. So this Airbnb is a nice pet friendly one. Like I so say, you've seen the, the gate outside. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so we're wrapping it up here and we're moving on to our next place. Yeah, I got some pretty countryside down here in Georgia. I was actually surprised. All right, guys, we are at our next destination, our next room. So nice thing from the show we are about 
maybe 10 minutes from there. So we are like literally like three miles. So we are tucked way back in the woods really far, and uh, it's a really nice place. So we'll go in and take a look here and see what we got going on. Yeah, so this is nice. Let's check this out. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. That's a little better than the tiny house we stayed in just a little bit ago. Nice, very nice. Oh yeah, this will look nice. She's doggy friendly. Two bedrooms, very nice. We got back here another one. Oh, this is nice. Oh, we got the bathroom. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Real nice. No, get out of there. All right, guys, we'll get settled in and we'll head to the meet and greet and uh, see what's going on there. All right, well, we're getting well, we're getting settled in. So before we left, I built this little magic box here because I knew Yip and Yang were going with us and I knew they'd be in the back jumping all over the place. So I built me just something kind of quick makeshifty. Little chain on it. So all my kits fit in there. So a little piano hinge on the back, a little chain so it only opens up so far. Just a little scrap plywood out of the house. So it's nice and sturdy. Got main screws all down the sides, top, bottom, whole thing. So it makes a nice little travel case. So all my cases fit in there nice. And then we end up doing this with our tote in the back. So all of our clothes and everything are in here. So I put run zip lies, zip ties through there and that way it sits in the back of the truck with our suitcases in it and keeps nice and dry for those just in case moments for extra room. All right, now I think it's time to go and check things out. Well guys, we're on our way home. That was a pretty good show up there at Acme uh, in Georgia. So we are going through the Kentucky countryside, gonna you know, spend the night and haul it home from there. Well, we're at our next Airbnb before we go home. We're in the outer banks of the hills of Kentucky, and we are in the middle of absolute nowhere. So let's go up and check this bad boy out. Nice view. That's where we just come in. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Got ourselves a mini split. Nice little bathroom. Kind of just an open ceiling. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So we're checking out the coffee pots here. Check this out. The guy's name that has the Airbnb is Greg Potter. So he has his own coffee jig. That's awesome. Gives us instructions on how to use it. You grind her and mix her up and put her in. Love it. We'll see how it goes. This is the view off our front porch in the Airbnb we're staying. I hear a car come down the road. Shows you how far off the road we are. Car's put it his way. Very cool. This is out in the middle of nowhere. I think we're 25 minutes from the nearest town, which I am completely okay with that. This is just beautiful out here. Temperature's about 60 right now. Love it. Nice. So this should look pretty cool. See how many houses are on that mountainside once the uh, gets dark. Starts lighting up. Don't look like there's many over there, but you never know until the till nighttime. All right, all right, guys, we are heading home. This is beautiful out here. Got a tractor way in the background with a blinking light. Very nice view off the porch here. So this is my kind of living right here, out in the middle of nowhere. Love it.
little mountain scenery in the background. This is beautiful out here. I don't know why the yard light's freaking out behind me. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, so we're getting ready to head out and head back to Michigan. Alrighty, we will see you guys at the home front. Flint, Michigan. Well, guys, we have made it pretty much home. So the nice thing about it, there's no snow. And it is 55 degrees, so that is awesome as can be. So, well, guys, I appreciate you guys following along, tagging along the, with the channel here. And we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>